Brian, this is Jeff Diamond talking. Yes, this is Jeff. This is Brian Burke calling. How are you, Jeff? I'm very well, sir. How are you? Trust me, sir, I am a big Lee fan. Um, like historically or um, currently? Current? Huh. Um, hmm, good question. Um, I'm historically, it has to be the great Matt Sundin. Yeah, he's a great player. Now, what are you up to tonight? What are you doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Um, I'm, well, I'm pretty much just on my computer. Um, actually, I, actually, I work this weekend. Okay, now your cousin interrupted me here very rudely in my head. <laughs> she said, what's the question that's on the plane that he could answer? Oh, um, the question, the question that, uh, well, well, the, the fact is, the question was actually, um, asked by my, by my Uncle John. Um, he's, he's in the same, like, I think it's the same country club as Ron McLean. But, but he said that I do believe that it was, um, the ten, the ten franchises in NHL who, who were created after 1967 to have a Stanley Cup. Ten franchises created after 1967 to have a Stanley Cup. We got it. Um. Well. Well. I got. I got a new job with um, Target. The Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's a. It's a new. It, they're. They're build, They have a new. They're going to make. Um. They're building a new one in Kitchener, and I'm. I'm just setting it up and all that. So, um, Brian, I just want to ask you one question, and that's it. Okay. Um, I, I'm looking at your web, at your Wikipedia page, and I know, I noticed that um, you, you were very successful with Vancouver pretty much before you came to Anaheim in Toronto. Yeah. Like, um, like when you. Can you can you uh, make a comparison between like wh when you came into the fan when you became GM of the Canucks in '98? Um, what type of comparison would you make with coming into Toronto in '08? Very similar. Overpaid, underachieving team. Had to get rid of it. shovel off the table first. Um, very similar. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it would. Um, and you know, I I really applaud you with um with making the with being so crafty and getting like the the Sedin twins like second and third in '99 at the draft. Yeah. That was a lot of work. Uh, when I at some point we'll sit down and I'll tell you that whole story. It's three trades. Yeah, I know it's a very different story. 
I gotta go to bed. I have an arbitration law. I'm tired. Maybe have, have another fight team here and go to bed. Okay. Okay. Sounds good, Brian. Thank you. You're you're welcome. Hi, Mel. Oh my God! I can't believe I spoke to him. Did you, did you brag about the bus buying competition four years ago? Did you brag about the, bu the bus buying competition? You know that competition I went to the four, four years ago? How did he react to that? Yeah. <laughs> I know. You really did. Oh, I don't but yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I reminded you. I told him why not it happened. He works at the same firm as you. I had no, I had no clue. I know he went to Harvard, yes. Can you um, ask him about um, the scrutiny he had when he made the castle trade? You know. Um. Well, well, I'm looking at the Wikipedia page right now, and um, they said they said in the criticism that um, he was criticized for trading two first round picks to Boston for Castle. Brian says he'd do it again tomorrow. But, like, Brian probably didn't figure that the first round picks would have been Sagan and Dougie Hamilton, I guess. Okay. Okay, so we never thought we'd give up the second pick overall. But if we had kept that pick, we would not have taken Tyler Sagan. We would have taken Gibranson or Fowler. Like, no, our, our guys didn't have Sagan in the top six. True. I, I understand your reasoning, but, I mean, Sagan's, Sagan's been pretty much like a leaf killer lately. No, no, not in the playoffs. I mean, like in the regular season and such. Yeah. Um. I. I. One more thing, Brian. Um. I actually r remember you making that rant about in, in 2002. I think it was Canucks Wings, and you said Sedin is not English for for punching or something like that. I can't remember. 
Yeah, I know. Yeah, that was kind of funny. Yeah, I know. I know. And that that was this hard. That must have been disheartening for you because um, you had that two nothing lead and the Red Wings were so favored, and then you and then you and then Kluge gave up that goal. So. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah, I. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. It's it's going. It's getting close to midnight out east, so I'll I'll soon be headed to bed. I know. Oh, uh, pretty well. I'm, uh, the store, the store looks okay, but it's not open yet. Yeah, I hope so too. Hey, sure. Bye. I cannot believe it. I spoke with the great Brian Burke. I hope you heard the conversation. It would be the worst feeling in the world. That didn't happen, but I know. I hope you enjoy it. Okay.